Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Cannibalt. This game was created in only five days back in 2009 by Adam Atomic. If you've never heard of Adam before, he's a prolific Flash game designer, and whether or not you know it, you may have actually played one of his games. He has a lot of stuff on Newgrounds and on Congregate, so if you frequent those Flash sites, then you probably have indeed touched some of his work. As you can see on the title screen, Adam Atomic and Danny B are proud to present Cannibalt. Danny B, in this case, is Danny Baranowski of Super Meat Boy soundtrack fame. Danny is quite the prolific composer, and he has done several Adam Atomic games. You are now being assaulted by the music for this wonderful, wonderful title. He whipped up a couple of tracks in just one day. So again, this was made in five days. What is this game? Well, it's an experiment in minimalist game design, and it is at its very core an auto-running game, or sort of a parkour game. <laughs> Your guy runs. He just runs. You make him jump. That's it. Yeah, sounds simple, and it is simple, but it's done so well. The graphics are perfect, the soundtrack makes everything drive forward and ties it all together. Just wonderful. Why are you running, though? Well, apparently, there's some kind of a massive robot alien invasion, and our rather well-dressed hero is trying to escape. Not really sure where he's running to, if it's to safety or Shangri-La or where, but he is trying to get there post-haste, and you are guiding him. It's a really simple concept that must be seen to be fully understood, so let's go ahead and get into the game. Here we go. Press any button to start your daring escape. Let's escape. So here you can see simple graphic style, black and gray graphics, lovely, just wonderful, nice music in the background tying everything together, and this is the essence of the game. I am not making him run forward, he is running forward on his own. I am only making him jump. That's it. Now you're going to attempt to get as far as you can get. As to whether or not this game can actually be beat, I think the jury's still out on that. From my research, I didn't really find any people who were saying, yeah, yeah, I beat it, I got the ending. Uh, whoa, trying to smash me with their alien robot stuff. But I, you know, I got a lot of people saying, well, I made it uh, 5,000 meters, or I made it uh, 400 meters, or I made it uh, 3,200 meters, or whoa. You ran 2,100 and two meters before turning into a fine mist. And if you look in the background, you can see the robot stomping around. Yeah, not really a lot is known about this alien invasion, but the lore behind it is a little bit, a little bit weak. But clearly it is happening, and clearly our well-dressed hero is attempting to escape. He's, he's well-dressed. I think he's wearing a suit. Looks like he might be a lead singer for Ska Band. Uh, he's not quite a gentleman. I don't see a top hat. I don't see a, a monocle or, or a cane. So uh, he's not a gentleman, but uh, he is certainly well-dressed, and he is in a hurry. And as you can see, the levels are procedurally generated. This is not the same level I encountered the last time, and that is wonderful. I do have to say that this game works just fantastic, oh, just fantastic on mobile devices because it is the sort of game that you want to play for five minutes, you want to play for ten minutes, just to try to beat your best and then move on. You know, it's not the sort of thing that you're going to sit here on a PC and play for hours on end. It's just the game you're going to pop into die like a million times like I'm doing and uh, pop out and that is the draw of it and it's just so well done I mean the art style the music uh, all of it works together in such a way to really create a wonderful experience I mean this is a simple running game but I've got a smile on my face and I'm really enjoying it and and I will tell you that I do uh, play it on my smart device. I still don't have a cell phone, so don't you guys think that I'm going and getting all modern on you. Uh, but uh, I did manage to pick up a super cheap uh, Amazon Kindle Fire. And uh, while it is, in fact, not a iPad, it is a wonderful 
a tablet for what it does, and uh, I'm really, really enjoying the hell out of that thing. And it's given me the opportunity to experience a bunch of stuff that uh, I just frankly missed out on as a non-cell phone user in this day and age. And uh, I think I've successfully got my wife hooked on Fruit Ninja. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's might be some inroads towards getting her to game. I don't know. But not to take the focus off of Cannabalt, I do digress as I usually do. Uh, but yeah, here it is. The game is simple. I don't really need to tell you any more about it. If you purchase the Humble Android Bundle number 2, check this game out. Get it on your mobile device or download it to your PC. It's also available in uh, HD versions on the web. And the Android version is HDified a little bit. These buildings have a more 3D look to them but they definitely don't lose any of the original aesthetic in the HDification of the game. So uh, a wonderful way to support Adam Atomic is to go out and buy this game for the iPhone if you don't already have it and you have one of those iPhones uh, or the Android. Uh, it's just a wonderful game. It costs you a couple $3, I think it is, on the Android Marketplace. Wonderful game, a wonderful designer. He's the sort of guy uh, that you really like to see in the games industry, a family man. He blogs about interesting stuff related to game design. I, I find myself um, occasionally getting lost in his blog, just sort of uh, poring over some of his topics, the stuff that he talks about, uh, the, the sort of analytical, almost, almost academic. I don't, I don't like to attach academic to gaming, but an almost sort of clinical academic way that he uh, he manages to view gaming. It's it's definitely a, a fantastic read if you're into uh, the idea of becoming a programmer or getting into game design. He has a lot of really good ideas on uh, on things like pacing in games and and uh, you know how to uh, how to create a good immersive experiences for users, stuff like that. Wonderful guy, wonderful game. Big, big thumbs up to Adam Atomic and a giant thumbs up as well to Danny for his amazing soundtrack. All right, guys, Cannabalt, play it. You must. Oh, and I turn into a fine mist. All right, on that note, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.